Right then, you've made it back to episode 2 of my Let's Play, and we're going to learn about skills. It seems that's what we're going to be doing. I actually sort of know what the skills are, but I'm not that good at it, so I'm doing this tutorial again. If you hadn't seen the previous part, please look, there should be an annotation somewhere if I remember to do it. Anyway, so, when you're ready to learn about training skills, next. Skills need to be trained. This converts them from an item in the world into information in your head. So when you read a book, you can't. Yeah, yeah, like that. Every skill in your head. Once you, once a skill is in your head, you'll never lose it. Every skill in your head has a level. When you first put a skill into your head, it has a level of zero and provides no benefit. You can train them, of course, up to level five. Beautiful thing about this game, and the reason why I love this game, is skills are real-time tradable. I've been working at a Christmas, as you can probably guess, as most people working our asses off. So I've been training skills up when I'm working and having a time to play. Training happens in real-time, even when you're not online. So let's go to, let's begin skill training. Skill training is this little window. That's your inventory. And item hanger. And then you would right click on the item and train. But something tells me. Yep, I've already trained it. I started trying the skill. So what happens is more. To, most skills will give you a small bonus relevant to it. To a relevant attribute, you every level you train. Many ships, modules, and other useful items that you what require. You need to have trained one or more skills to a certain level. The more skills you train, the more options you unlock. Right, I'm going to show you the skills panel real quick. It's in the character sheet. And then, if I drag it a bit, you can basically see an over overview of all the skills I've trained. I've got quite a lot, so don't worry about those at for now. I'll go over those later. But my repair skills, just for sake of argument, I will show you, has been leveled up. My repair systems is already level 5, so I haven't got to equip that at all. That I've been told is too high, but that's like not a problem for me, whatever. So, next. Once you're ready, you should request another mission from me so we can continue. During this mission, you will receive a defensive module for your ship. If you kept the aging conversation window open, then you can click request mission at the bottom, like this. If not, right click start conversation and blah. So. Click accept when you're ready. You're doing so. You're doing well so far, Mavaro. Your next test will involve some basic combat training. When you're ready, you'll be provided with some modules fit to fit your starship. Make sure to keep following this tutorial. I will explain how to fit modules. Once you are fitted, you will fly out to a location in space to begin your training. Once again, you will be provided with tutorials to guide you along the way. Accept. The good thing is this: when the tutorial starts off and you do it with the quests. It understands what's going on. Next. Let's go back actually, make sure that there's something. Right. You fit items to your ship by using the fitting service window. Open it now by pressing the highlighted icon by the Neocon. Okay. Every station offers various services such as fitting, repairing and insuring. All stations offer a fitting service menu you can dock at any station to refit your ship. Click next when you've opened the fitting service.
right then, a bit of a technical blip. Right, we're back. Okay, so. You are now being given a weapon module and a repair module. This is replaced in your item hanger, which is this button here, item hanger there. Right. Click next when you found the items you were given. One should be. Uh, you want to see them? Where are they? They aren't there. Oh, hold on. They haven't given me the items. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Okay. I haven't been given the items. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, because I've already received them, as it says there. Okay. Oh, God. What do I need? What do I need? No, not the fitting service. To restore the weapon module, a light electron blaster one. Hold on, I'm gonna cheat. This I've got to do this because this is this is I didn't research into this. Where's the market? Where's the market? What's the item I need? Don't worry about this, guys. I am just being cheaty. Ship equipment station. Ah! No! No! Ah, oh, balls. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's expensive. Right. We're going to do a little journey. Why not? And I didn't. I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought. We're going to go and jump over to there really quick. Location. Right, don't worry about all this. So what we're going to do, I actually didn't realise that I need to buy certain items. Because once you've, done the, the, once you've done the tutorial once, you won't give it them again. So basically, you see this has now gone yellow. That means we've got to... That's the, that's the waypoint. So I'll, you have to right-click and then jump. And then what that will do... It will jump us through a portal, but it will get to... And why has that disappeared? And then it will basically go to the next station. Where are we? So we've got 2.9. Well, this is a good way just to make the let's play a bit more legit, I guess. Even though I've confused myself with recording. Oh, that was a close. That was a close crash into the planet, almost. Close. That was so close. Warp drive active. I love that saying. I know it's not a sign, but whatever. And you jump through that portal. It's a light electron blaster. Right. Right click and duck. So all I'm doing at the moment is buying an item. I'm going to go and buy something from the market. I will go through this in a later journal, I think, a later tutorial. To show you how the market goes, so don't panic, don't panic. All is well in the universe. So we've got what 1.1 person, half a million, almost there, and we're going to dark in a second. I love how quickly it comes up on that. Though. That is just awesome. And I was going to do a Star Trek Online LP, but I think I'm going to stick with I'm going to stick with Eve. Docking permission requested. Let's install the weapon module. Oh, I want to take something. Weapon module. Right. Have I got anything in this place? No. So mark it. I'm gonna buy one of those. It's overpriced, but I can afford it. Goes into your item hanger. So. So. Open the fitting service. repair module so we're gonna take this and drag it over into the window it automatically gets fitted ok 
Okay. To store the weapon module, a light electron duster one. Drag it from your item hanger to the center of the fitting service window where your ship is displayed. I need a repair module. So, I guess repair module. Let's see what it brings up. Ship equipment. What was it there? Mm -mm -mm. That's not armor, is it? I'm sure it's armor. Let's just go with light. Light. Yeah, I think that'll do. But of course. I'm not going to worry about. Oh god, I've got to worry about armor, and I. Is it light? I love it when I get things wrong. <laughs> no. Alright, let's go over there and get that. <laughs> this let's play is going to be weird. Just to do one mission. I want to try and do it as closely as I can to the, the original ships that came with when you first gun, rather than just using one of my ships. Plus, you get three ships out of it, so why not, eh? Right, I'm going to jump again. So, I'll make this episode a little bit longer just so I can get all this in. I think. Whoa, that was quick. That was really quick. Hopefully, we can get some combat. I'm sure it's armor. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Now, as you can see, I'm going into lower security space, which isn't good. We'll see. Almost there. Whoa, that was quick. You do not have to come up on me quick, don't you? What? This is going to be an interesting playthrough. Another jump. Come on, ship, jump. So, this won't take long. I just hope I can get back to where I was. So now the higher you are in the security space, the more protected you are. And I think 0.5 is when it starts to get a little bit risque. So maybe I'm being brave coming out all the way over here. I don't know. I don't care. I am a monster. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Right. We're going to get there before it's 1997. Even though it's 2013, but then again, I am the doctor, so I can get back in time, right? No, I didn't think so either. Right, let's duck. Ooh. And again, I'm in the Galente space anyway, so I'm safe. I think, I guess, maybe. From gankers and all that kind of stuff. But at least this ship can move in warp time. Then again, I think some of my skills are trained up in warp, so my warp's a lot quicker than what it probably would be when you're new, so do take that into account. If anyone is interested in trying the game out though, you can get a free 21 day trial on my homepage, on my YouTube channel homepage, youtube.com slash delaynem. So feel free to jump on. Well, that's double the price. Oh well. Only 27,000. I'll open the fitting service again, drag that on. That can't be good. 
Well, that's fine. Now, next. Undock to begin your next mission. Doesn't matter where you go to do this stuff though. Once you've undocked. Okay, use the energy missions panel to warp to your mission location. Okay, so we're going to go to the dead space. So as you can see, it automatically updates again to tell me I'm going to go through there to jump. There is an automatic pilot in it, but that's a bit meh. Yeah. Because apparently, if you do automatic, it takes a bit longer to get through. And if you're being followed, you don't want to do automatic. You want to be doing it manually, so you're like, click, click, boom, out, gone. So we'll go back to Bournes. I think though at that point I will cut it short and sweet while we travel back to beyond. I will see you back there for the next episode guys. So I hope you enjoyed this let's play. And well you know what to do if you're enjoying this. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good time. And I'll see you again soon in EVE Online. Adios.